This Anna Branch here is, a, is an old ancestral course of the Ovens River. Boundary Creek is technically what it's referred to. It fills with water when the Ovens River rises and these backwater areas are absolutely critical hotspots for feeding but also for spawning and for juvenile fish to um, develop before they enter back into the, into the main system of the Ovens River. The Boundary Creek Anna Branch runs for about 15 kilometres along the oven, so it's important for native fish because it provides that lateral connectivity to floodplain habitats, which, when are inundated, actually provide an abundance of resources such as food and habitat shelter, and um, also prevent things like predation and competition. It's a very special Anna Branch. It's full of habitat red gums, fallen trees and exactly the kinds of conditions that native fish are looking for to complete their life cycles. So we're out here today at Frost Crossing on the Warby Ovens National Park, about halfway between Wangaratta and Yarrawonga, and we're reinstating the crossing at, on Frost Track into the National Park, but importantly building, constructing a fishway underneath the new crossing to enable fish passage through um, that was previously blocked by the old structure. Consequence of the 2010 flooding uh, impacted our, our crossing down here, made access across that crossing quite difficult for both public and emergency services and as a result we end up closing that crossing for public safety reasons. This crossing here is the, the most important um, access into the Warby Ovens National Park for tourism and visitors to the park, uh, fishermen and people that just generally want to enjoy the, the surroundings. So this particular structure is designed to provide uh, longitudinal passage for native fish in the area and also to provide access for um, recreational users of the forest. So there's about 15 species of native fish that occur in Boundary Creek, both small, medium and large sized fish. It's quite important that, that we open this right up to enable the larger fish to get in and undertake their spawning activities, then the smaller fish to get out and generally be able to move throughout the system as the seasons change. For frost crossing structure, uh, we've designed this particular fishway to provide passage for small, medium and large sized fish. So it's a very conservative slope across the fishway. We've included eight baffles to try and break up the hydraulic um, forces that occur through the structure. The activities people like to undertake traditionally in, in the Warby Ovens National Park are fishing, camping and recreational activities. Because we're situated between Yarrawonga and Wangaratta, it has been historically used by fishermen and campers and families for generations. So this design also includes a grid which runs the full length of the structure and that's actually to provide light penetration down to the water surface. As previous studies have shown that um, when we've got dark culverts, fish may actually walk from going through. The fish passage that we've got designed here um, is one of six uh, passages that we're developing right across the northeast catchment. Funding provided by the Victorian State Government's Environmental Water Works and Measures Program. Once these structures are complete, the entire length of the Ovens River will then be open for fish passage from top to bottom and that's a really good space to be in. It's nice to have a project that actually links tourism and recreational uh, activities and being able to get a benefit for the environment at the same time.